Hey, good morning, everybody. It's the midweek. It's Wednesday. Now, yesterday in our morning check-ins, we started kind of working our way through the book of James, one of the practical books of the Bible written by one of the half-brothers of Jesus. Now, today we want to move into verse number two in James chapter one, and it says this, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when? when you encounter various trials. Imagine that. Consider it joy when trials come into your life. That doesn't sound real wonderful, but that's what the Bible's teaching. Why should we consider it joy when trials come into our life? Knowing, it says, that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And why is that a good thing? Because endurance can have its perfect result, making you perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Man, this is a powerful passage. It'll probably take us a few days to walk through these three verses. Now, it begins by talking about the reality of suffering. And we learn in verse 2, number 1, that suffering is normal. It says, consider it joy when you encounter trials. Not if, but when. Now, if there's one thing I can guarantee for every one of us as we enter this new year, we will all face some type of trial at some point in this year. So this passage is going to be very practical for us. Now, the other key word isn't just when, it's the word encounter. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials. And the idea of encounter here means to fall into unexpectedly. In other words, it's not something you saw coming. Isn't that the case with most trials? In fact, this is the word used to describe uh, the man that was beaten up on the road to Jericho in the story of the Good Samaritan. It said he fell among robbers. It was unexpected. In 2023, what's going to happen? Well, at some point, a trial is going to come into your life that is unexpected. That's going to happen. It happens every year. Now, this trial could speak of an outward circumstance, maybe a sinful experience, depending on the context. Well, in the context here, it's not talking about sin. It's talking about a circumstance. At some point in my new year, some circumstance is going to come into my life unexpectedly that's going to cause a trial. Now, in the verse, it calls it a various trial. When you encounter various trials, and the word various means many colored. In other words, he's not referring to one specific trial. This is a word that describes a variety of trials because trials come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. You can have a financial trial that hits you unexpectedly. An occupational trial, you suddenly get fired, they hit you unexpectedly. A relational trial is you discover that someone in your life has betrayed you, that can come unexpectedly. There can be a spiritual trial, an emotional trial, a mental trial, even a physical trial is you unexpectedly get a bad report from the doctor. In our lives, in the year upcoming, we will encounter various trials. How are we to respond? According to the verse, we're to consider it joy. And that's what we're going to be talking about in tomorrow morning's check-in. I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Hope you'll comment in the comment section. We love it when you do. Let me pray. God, we know this coming year we will face trials. That's true. But we also know, based on scripture, every trial has a purpose. So help us to respond in a biblical way. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we'll keep talking about it tomorrow. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another morning check-in.